Okay. In this diagram, I am going to tell you about the various relations of the solar region which lies deep to an undercover of that of the deltoid muscle. Yeah, previously, we have already seen about the posterior circumflex artery, anterior circumflex artery and the posterior division of the axillary nerve which are lying deep to the uh, fibers of the deltoid muscle. Here if we go little lower down then we will see that this is the cross section of the scapula. See here, we are going little lower down here and you will see that if we cut a section here from surgical neck a little, this is the lower part of the scapula is cut where posteriorly it is in trispinatus and on under surface it will be the subscapular muscle will be there and various muscles will come and get attachment onto the bicipital groove that is intertubercular sulcus okay in intertubercular sulcus and on its margin that is the lateral margin and to that of the medial margin and thus this section is passing through this level and you will see that there is the attachment here in the, on the scapular dorsal aspect it is the infraspinatus muscle i will just give infra spinatus muscle and this is the sub scapularis scapularis because it is the ventral aspect of the scapula then this is the bicipital group okay or intertubercular sulcus where there is attachment to a neurotic attachment of the latissimus dorsi i am representing by the letter lb latissimus dorsi and then on to the outer lip of this uh, there is the attachment, I am saying inner lip, there is the attachment of the bicipital groove, there is the attachment of this muscle called as the teres major muscle. So this is the teres major muscle is there. Why then to the outer lip, okay, there is the attachment or the medial lip, there is the attachment of this muscle with the aponeurotic, uh, see, art angle and that is called as the pectoralis major. So this is the pectoralis major and this is the teres major and in between these two muscles in the floor of the bicipital groove there is the attachment of the latissimus dorsi. In the groove itself between this muscle you can see the tendon of the long head of the biceps which is surrounded by the synovial membrane and extension from the shoulder joint is here. So this is the uh, long head of biceps. Tendon, okay, and this is naturally the short head of the biceps muscle. So these two tendons they are here, and then in front of that, and this lateral to it will be that the muscle called as the uh, coraco brachialis. This is the coraco brachialis muscle. Coraco. So this will give a short idea about the section and relations of the muscles at a little lower level than where we have seen the surgical neck was situated where the artery and nerve were in relation. Now let's lastly I will tell you an applied importance of the deltoid muscle that whenever the injections are given intramuscular injection deltoid is the choice okay the choice of the muscle for intramuscular injection and most of the injections they are given onto the intermediate part of the deltoid muscle. Try to avoid or don't give at all into the upper one third of the deltoid any injection because there is the presence of the posterior division of the axillary nerve which will may get injured. Okay, the axillary nerve is there. So it is always given into the intermediate part of the deltoid. And deltoid, since it is quite mobile and having the multiple fibers here, rich in the blood supply, as we have seen just now, there will be the absorption of the drug is very quick from this area. Thank you very much. This completes the deltoid muscle. Welcome back, student. In continuation to that of the deltoid, origin insertion, nerve supply, and action, this diagram will show you the relationship of the artery and the nerve which is supplying to the deltoid okay now this is the cross section of the humerus at the surgical neck okay and this is the third part of the axillary artery this third part of the axillary artery gives origin to the posterior circumflex humeral and this is the anterior circumflex humeral where the anastomose 
multiple branches will come and they will go to the neighboring structures okay, and will supply to the blood. So this is an anastomosis of the third part of the axillary artery by its branches called as the anterior and posterior circumflex humeral artery. Similarly, this is the nerve that is called as the axillary nerve and this comes from the posterior part of the brachial plexus then it goes here and then it soon divides into two trunks. This is the posterior division or the posterior trunk which goes superficial to the, on the superficial aspect of the deltoid muscle. Okay. Then here is the anterior division of the axillary nerve which goes deep to that of the deltoid muscle between the surgical neck and that of the deltoid muscle. This now is important because this is the main supply to that of the deltoid muscle. So this is the posterior division and this is the I will say this is the anterior division and posterior division of the axillary nerve. Important to note here is that a branch comes from that of the posterior or dorsal division which has a pseudoganglia and then it supplied to an another muscle of the scapular region called as that of the teres minor muscle. Okay, in the next video, I will tell you about the relation of the shoulder joint. Okay.